All right, I'm back again. And we're actually starting from an earlier point. I am currently cooking bacon in the cast iron. Turn the heat down low because the cast iron likes to overcook my bacon if I don't. It's so much fun. Anywho, all right. That is chicken thighs because we like chicken thighs. Yes, it's raw, but I'm gonna take the whole entire thing and cook it together in there. This is the only instance in which I will put veggies in with raw meat. They do the same thing at teppanyaki, so anybody has an issue with it, tell it to the teppanyaki restaurant. Anywho, um, what I'm going to do, come here kid, is have the kid hold it. Come over on this side. Okay. I'm going to chop up a lot of broccoli. I want about 50-50 ratio of broccoli to meat. Don't point it at me, thank you. And I'm basically just cutting off the tips of the stems. That way it comes off in little bitty pieces. And I'm also ripping stuff, ouch, as well. And getting popped by bacon, yay. Woo. All right, anyhow, yeah, keep that point of the food, okay? So I have a lot, a lot of broccoli. And then I'm gonna cut up some mushrooms. And so this, I had a bag of block, broccoli florets that was about 329, I think, if I remember right. And this is probably half the bag, but we are going to have leftovers because it is just two of us eating. Uh, this amount of food, if you're going to have one meal, will feed six to seven people. Each person will get one or two servings. If you do it with rice, you can stretch it further. I'm doing it with noodles, so you tend to need a little bit more extra stuff in with the noodles. Um, and I like my veggies not as crispy, so that's part of the reason. I do not mind throwing them in with the raw meat, is because they're going to get cooked longer because the meat takes longer to cook than the veggies. If you like your veggies less cooked, I recommend setting them up separately from your meat and then either throwing them in with your meat when your meat's about done or cooking them completely separately in whatever oil you use, you keep set some aside or whatever and uh, throw the veggies in it. I have got my water boiling, show them the boiling water. I've got my water boiling flipping my bacon. I'm gonna put the noodles in because once the noodles are cooked, I'm using egg noodles today. Once the noodles are all the way cooked, you can leave them, ooh, that's burned. Leave them sitting in the water. Now with bacon, crispy, I like it extra crispy and a little charred if I'm using it in my cooking, depending on what I'm doing. And the bacon is gonna go in closer to the end since it's a little extra cooked. Let me dump the broccoli stems. If you have, come here, Trixie, a fluffy. That's what we call doggies. Come here, Precious. Or a cat. She don't like it. If you have a fluffy that likes this stuff, then uh, I'm going to save the stems for them. Come here, fluffy. I have a cat. Huh? Yeah, cat. I don't think cats like broccoli. You ready? Get it. Put it this way so she can catch. I don't have to wash my hands. Fluffy. <whistles> oh, you missed it. All right, uh -oh. let me see that. Okay, anywho, um, I am going to take my carrots and peel them. Yay me. I love peeling carrots, not really. But I already put one carrot in, and these are kind of small. Ooh, I'm going to use three carrots. That was not a knife. That was a knife. Cover. Here, put, wash this, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to bring the trash can over so that I can peel here. Anywho, um, thin carrots, thick carrots, whatever works. You're gonna peel them, which doesn't take very long. Um, I need to pull that bacon off. Hey, give me a paper towel, please. Uh, okay. Two, two, double them up. I gotta pull the bacon off, it's gonna burn. Anywho, um, we're gonna peel the carrots and, okay, let me have it, come on, come on. Anyhow, I'm gonna set this on the counter so that I don't burn the heck out of myself with grease. Give me a plate, please. Uh, generally, I would set this on top of a plate, but as you can see, my stuff's turning kind of dark, so <laughs> uh, we're not going to rush that. That one's almost done. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Go work on dishes, please. I'm back okay, cool. Um, anyhow. Peeled carrot. All right. Let me peel the other ones. 
So yes, cooking takes time. When this stuff goes into the pan, which it will very shortly, get it fluffy. I missed a peel. This dog likes veggies. <laughs> the other one is not a fan, but this one, hey, she uh, gets all the stuff that misses going in the can. She'll eat carrots whole too, but hey, at least we know she's healthy. Oh, I already peeled half this one. Cool. Right there. Get it. And we don't step in it. Anyhow. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Come here, kid. You to be my cameraman. Okay. I need you. Cameraman. Okay. Sure. It's the same thing. Don't get technical. Anyway, you're going to cut the tips off. Okay. Um, Amber, you're going to want to come Back around up. to the other side. Move the can out of the way if you can. Scoop, Hold on. All right. Come around so you can see what I'm doing. Let me pull this bacon off. There we go. It wasn't... Oh, that's burnt. My bad. Uh -oh. That's okay. <sighs> Somebody else in the room will eat the burnt bacon. <laughs> Anyhow. So, what you're going to do... Okay, the heat's off. Water's boiling. I'm going to put my noodles in in a minute. Cut them in half, and then you're going to cut them in half long ways. Go slow, because if you do it sideways, they're going to cut really funny. You want to cut them small so that they cook thoroughly enough that they're cook as cooked as you want them when the meat's done. I do not like mine lightly cooked. I like them heavily cooked. Not to mention, depending on what you're cooking them in, they will soak up the flavor of the grease or butter or whatever. If you saute them in butter, they taste like candy. Mm. Yeah. And then uh, if you do carrots and green pepper sliced really thin and cook them in butter, they taste like candy. And then you put them over rice and you spread the butter on there. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's see. I'm this going to hit perfect. the pause button Ew. on this one. Let me see. All right, so that's about how small you want it. We're going to put those in there because they're all going to get cooked at the same time. And they will be going in that pan, hence the reason I'm not dumping the grease. Anyhow. All right, so uh, at some point this week, if you're curious, we are going to make ice cream. All right, I need, where are my new, oh, there they are. All right, so we did art the other day. We are going to use the egg noodles, and I'm dumping the entire rest of the thing here. Into the, here, oh, oh. dry your hands off, please. Thank you. Into the water. Never mind, I got it. Uh oh. There we go. No, just work on the dishes, okay? okay? All right. So the entire thing is going in the water. If I need to, I can add a little bit of water. We're going to keep an eye on it with egg noodles. They tend to cook really, really slow. So you're going to definitely want to keep an eye on the water level. Um, sometimes the water will evaporate faster than those things cook. I've had a couple times where I've come in and there's only a little tiny bit of water left in the pan and the noodles are nowhere near done. It is not fun. Anyway, uh, with this, it is going to get right when it goes into the pan, whatever chicken side is up that's still raw is going to get a little bit of seasoning. Um, I generally stick with certain seasonings. Uh, you, normally I would throw green peppers or something in here, but I found out that my body does not like green peppers, so I had to cut them out. I have to be very, very picky as to when I eat them. I kind of really want them. Um, but I do recommend try other vegetables. Squash and zucchini is pretty good. Um, they're really good in soups, by the way. Uh, at some point, we will make a soup. But yeah, I have dietary restrictions, so... There are certain, I, there's a lot of things I can't eat anymore. So I do have a few staple things. I highly recommend if you do any of this, you swap it out for stuff that you like or you mix and match and try something different. This would be good with peppers and squash and zucchini in it. Um, if you do it with rice, throw some corn in the rice maybe. I can eat corn, but I'm not a fan of mixing it with anything. Yes. Yep, I am one of those people. Um, Somebody says radishes. I don't agree, but I don't like radishes, and I don't know how to cook them. That's uh, my husband's area of expertise is uh, cooking pretty much everything. All right, one more carrot. Oh, goodness. 
Oh gosh. Okay. Ugh, that's hard to cut. Either I got the wrong knife or they're really thick or something. I don't know. I just kind of grabbed one of the knives that I like. I do have a big orange butcher knife. One of the square ones. I think it's a butcher knife. That's really good for cutting vegetables. It slides right through everything. And this, when we first got it, slid right through everything. I think it's due for a sharpening, maybe. My husband has this white knife, this knife with a white handle. I refuse to touch it because it'll slice your finger clean off through the bone and everything. And uh, when I was younger, I didn't have good luck with knives. So if I know it'll cut through me, especially with how big that thing is, it's like as big as my arm. I won't touch it. Yeah, but if you want to feel brave and use a bigger knife, go for it. Oh, these are cutting crooked. Anywho. There we go. Are you done with the dishes, honey? Almost. Okay, finish up the dishes. Yes. Thank you. Anyhow. Are you done with the dishes? Yes. No, you're not. There's dishes right next to the sink, silly girl. Anyhow. All right, I'm almost done. And then you can listen to me talk about how to actually cook stuff. All right, well, guess what? You're about to be my camera person again. Um, I need two more mushrooms, please. And do you want asparagus in this or just broccoli? Just broccoli. Okay, that's fine. Then I need three mushrooms. The mushrooms, cut them in half and then slice them. Somebody's going to come over here and I'll show you on the one of the other ones, how I cut them. Nope, just bring them over. They're supposed to be pre-rinsed, I think. I hope. Uh, yeah, they, they look dirt-free. Anyhow, come here. You mean my uh, camera person. Okay, pick it up. Okay. All right, so cut it in half. All right, I need you. Hold it up so you can see what I'm doing. They can for me. No, they can't. Yes, they can. Please do not argue with me. Sorry. Anyhow. No, they can't because I'm sideways compared to you. Come around this way to this side and point it at the thing so you can actually see how thick or thin I'm slicing them. Way over here. There you go. Right there. Don't move. This is hurts. <laughs> Hold on one second. I need to... Let me see. Stop moving. Oh my goodness. This is why. Look, rest your arm on there. Stop. Right there. Don't move. You're moving. Don't move. <laughs> yes, you can. Just for one mushroom. All right, don't move. Okay, now you should be able to see. And no, I'm not a professional chef, so I don't you do the little knuckle trick thing or anything. Never learned it, so I kind of take my time when I get near my fingers. Okay, you can put it down now. Come on, relax your arm. Anyhow, ooh, yep. Didn't get it, but I got it. That was close. Anyhow, now the other thing you can do is go like that, which I do with certain veggies, like uh, anything that's long and cylindrical, like a carrot or Quick cut. Uh, what do you call it, a zucchini or something, or celery. This part is better if you're using uh, hard stuff like carrots. This part is better. If you're doing something like mushrooms, uh, I see on TV a lot of chefs that will cut their onions, which we don't cook with onions um, very often. I use it in sauces and stuff, but I can't actually eat them, so I don't cook with them if they're going to stay in the food where I can't pick them out. Um, anyway, uh, anything where I can put them in big chunks is great. Yeah, lots of mushrooms. Yay, mushrooms. I like my mushrooms. All right. Do you think that you could stir the noodles without dropping the phone? Uh, maybe. Okay, give me the phone. <laughs> there we go. All right, I got it. Stir the noodles. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna get my seasonings. I want some garlic powder. I am going to get my Tupperware. Yes, this is my seasoning cabinet. We finally got this, and oh my god, it's amazing. What do you want to use? It, there's one already out, honey. Oh. Here. There you go. Anyway, uh, where, I have a Tupperware of salt somewhere in here. Amber, salt. have you seen... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My Tupperware... Salt, yeah. Um, uh, 
Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay. This is pink Himalayan salt. Um, it came pre-ground in a bag and I dumped it in the one that had the chunks in it that we got done with. Okay, I, um, I really like Old Bay and every time I travel somewhere and we have a new, oh yay, we have a kitchen. I always do that. Oh, I'm putting garlic in it. So we'll do uh, regular Old Bay. Which one's almost empty? Uh, oh, I got blackened. We're going to do blackened today. Try something a little different. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a little bit of this because I want to dump it in, season the chicken, and then dump the rest of the veggies. So turn the heat back on. We don't want it really, really high because if it's too high, you'll get a good sear on the meat, but it'll overcook the veggies. So you want it about medium. Don't actually touch the pan because you burn the crap out of yourself and oh yay, that'll be fun. Anyhow, I'm gonna dump this in. Oh, my meat's clumped up. All right, uh, on the cast iron, as I said before, I prefer to use wooden utensils. Reason being is if you have to scrape it for some reason, these will hold up better. The plastic ones tend to melt a little bit. And because I already used that on the chicken. All right, so first things first, come hold this. Dry your hands off, please. That way I can season. All right, Ooh, I do not do exact measurements, but I know what I like. We're gonna do a little bit of salt. Uh, I don't, Himalayan salt is supposed to be better for you than table salt because it has nutrients and stuff in it. I do a little bit, and then if I want anything else, I'll add other stuff. Sprinkle it over the top. Are you pointing it at the food? Yep. Okay, and then Old Bay, use as much as you want. Old Bay's awesome. Now this is the blackened stuff, so it's a little bit stronger. Now, this is bacon, grease from the bacon that I already cooked. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get the bacon grease out of the refrigerator. If I can find it, I have a Tupperware in here because we usually save all the, there it is, all the bacon grease. All right, anyhow, uh, I am going to put a little bit of extra bacon grease in it. I need a clean utensil. Oopsie. There it goes. Excuse me. Yeah, I know, we'd be okay. Anyhow, um, this is a teensy tiny spoon. All right, um, stay down here and you can help me out. No, you're going to help me out. All right, I use a lot. But it's a lot of food and there's not really any extra oil in here. And the veggies are going to absorb a lot of it. And then once I'm done, I'm going to toss the noodles in it. Oh, all right. Hey, honey. Yeah. Put this in the sink, please. It's got raw meat on it. Don't touch the end. All right. Anyhow, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss it a little bit, spread stuff out, get stuff coated. When the meats, actually I'm going to start throwing the mushrooms and stuff in now. I'm probably going to have to add more bacon grease, but I do not want raw meat in with the bacon grease. So since that spoon touched the raw meat, there it is. Since the spoon touched the raw meat, I want to make sure I use a new... New utensil. Stuff keeps flipping out of the pan. This pan's a little bit big. Normally I would use the big orange wok, but I didn't feel like getting another dish dirty. Okay, I might have to switch to the big orange wok. It's easier to toss stuff. Oh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, we're gonna switch to the big orange wok. Amber, I need a bottle of water, please. Okay. Stop. Uh, where's the case? No, 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 they're in your fridge. All right, I'm switching these out. Yeah, we're gonna use those up and then we'll switch to the other ones. Anyhow, okay, in doing this, I have to be really careful, otherwise I'm gonna lose a bunch of stuff. I have one more thing. Okay, all right, I get the idea. Watch out. Oopsie. Okay, do not touch this, it is hot. Don't touch it till after supper, okay? Pour a little water in there, you want it to coat the noodles, please. Now in this one, because it's not heated, yeah. You're going to want to crank the heat up a little bit. That's fine. And then on this one, we want it all the way high. Here. Thank you. All right. So if you add cold water to a hot going thingy for noodles, that is okay. But it will make your cook time longer. And when you do that, you have to make sure you stir it. Because if you don't stir it, the noodles will get stuck together. I just stirred it. And it's, I know, it's really annoying when they get stuck. Anyhow. So, 
As you can tell, I like cooking in bulk. Um, the So just to give you an idea, this would probably actually feed nine or 10 people. Uh, unless everybody in your family has seconds, then it'll feed like six. Um, when I was a kid, this probably would have fed us and we would have had leftovers for lunch maybe for two or three of us and we had six people in the family. Um, anyhow, uh, we didn't eat stuff like this either because there's no way in heck I would have eaten anything like this when I was a kid. Um, anyhow, um, just to give you an idea, that is the wok. That is the noodles. With the noodles and everything, it's going to be extra. I'm going to put a little extra seasoning on here because I can see a little bit, but I like a lot of flavor. Uh, can you hear me talking, right? Um, yeah, I'm not usually very talkative. Well, sometimes, but. See it on all the cooking shows where everybody always talks the entire time. Not to mention, I'm realizing that this wok is not big enough for me to actually toss, so I have to stir. If your wok is big enough or you have a pan with the sloped sides and the, not the corner thingy where it looks like an edge um, in a crease, but if it's a rounded edge, you can toss. Tossing's actually kind of fun. Let's see. Oh, I can do it a little. Okay, not enough. <laughs> anyway, um, with the nonsticks, you can turn it up a little bit and it won't overcook your veggies. That cast iron, if you turn it up too high, it'll burn your veggies before your meat's cooked. Anyhow, I do not know how to splice videos. <laughs> Sorry. So you're stuck with me the entire time I'm cooking till I'm done. Um, let me get the dishes that I'm done with out of the way. I'm still using that one. Honey, come here. Come here. Wash your hands and stay in here, please. Thank you. I need you to stir the noodles every once in a while and help out. All right. So every once in a while, you're going to turn your meat. This is going to take longer to cook. Now, like I said, you can do it a different way and uh, cook your veggies and your meat separate. The big thing is making sure all of your meat is cooked the whole way through. So what I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to take a couple chunks and cut them in half if they're not all the way cooked. Then, uh, obviously, we're going to go through. Obviously, we're going to go through and uh, click it longer. Leave the dots alone until we're done. Anyway, somebody's restless. And it's not me. Oh, goodness, that was lovely. I don't know if you saw that one. Anyhow. All right, so when I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this meat and veggies and stuff out of this, put it in a big bowl, and I am going to put the noodles in here and do meal-sized portions. Well, no, I'm not. I'm, I haven't decided yet. I'll do one of two things. I'll either do it in meal-sized portions and saute it in here, or I will take everything out, put what we're going to eat noodle-wise in here, and mix the meat and stuff together. Or I'll throw all the noodles in and mix them up and put them in a separate bowl. Uh, that way they pick up a little bit of the oil and stuff that's in here. And then uh, toss them together in a big bowl after everything's cooked. All right, um, I need you to test a noodle. Okay. Oops, I don't wanna do, no. Get a fork or something and stab it, please. Test a noodle, see if it's done. If it's not, we're gonna have to put a lid on it, which I'm probably gonna do. That's not big enough. Anyway, my hair ever lights on fire, it's going to be really funny, but not cool. You can feel free to laugh if it does. Anyway, I'm going to let that cook for a little bit. I'll probably go back and edit this video and take some of the stuff out. I'm not quite sure how to do that, but I'll figure it out. Where's the lid? I don't have another lid. Are they done? Put that in the sink. No, no, no. I said fork because you can go like this. Look, you stab it with the fork and get it out, right? Well, if I guess there we go. You blow on it. 
and you take the noodle off the fork so you can use the fork again. You're not done yet. It still tastes doughy. So if you test your noodles and they're flexible or whatever, but they taste like dough, they're not done. I know you do. But we're going to have them cooked all the way. All right, let me show you what this is. I'm about to crank the heat up a tiny bit more. So, what it's going to do, if I flip that slowly, you can see how some of the chicken is changing and the veggies are starting to cook. And then down at the bottom, we got a little bit of excess oil. You want the excess oil. The reason you want the excess oil is because you're going to drag dredge or you're going to toss the noodles in the excess oil. And what that's going to do is not only coat the noodles, but it's going to give you some flavor so you don't have to use the sauce. Because unless I make homemade spaghetti sauce, we'll do that at some point, but we're going to crank this up so the meat starts getting a sear on it because the veggies are getting as cooked as I want them. Um, we don't use sauces a lot because somebody can't have anything from a cow. That one. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that I don't like. As much as I'm not as picky as I used to be, I'm still kind of picky. Okay, all right. And then uh, if you cover the chicken, there we go. Now it's getting to the, nope, I'm still losing veggies. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, it's getting to the point where I can start tossing stuff because as the veggies cook and the chicken cooks, they tend to shrink. Let me see if I can do this without losing too much because we want the raw stuff to rotate off the top. And it's easier to get it to rotate if you actually uh, toss it instead of stirring it. A lot of times I've noticed when I stir it with a spoon, some of the raw stuff does not get to the bottom till the end. And then it's cooked, but it's not as cooked as the other stuff. Oh, that's all the trash. Anyhow. All right. Can you take care of the dishes in the sink, please? Thank you. Uh-huh. And now there's more dishes. What do you know? It's a never-ending story. Vicious, vicious cycle. Right. About every 30 or 40 seconds, I toss it. And with the lid being on it, it traps the heat. And what that does is it works like an oven. For anybody that doesn't know, I'm sure most of you do. But it works like an oven. It traps the heat. And what it does is it not only helps cook off anything that got on the veggies from the raw meat, but it helps cook the meat and the veggies on the inside without them having to go to the bottom of the pan. That way, if something doesn't hit the bottom of the pan, it still cooks. It just may not be seared. Anywho. Now, what you can do if you don't want to cook your seasoning in is you can wait till everything's all the way cooked. And then you can add your seasoning at the end. And yes, I like a lot of Old Bay. I like a lot of Old Bay, a lot of garlic. Sometimes I do cook with raw garlic, not when I cook with mushrooms though. For some reason I've noticed, at least with the Bellas, uh, which is what I tend to use instead of the button mushrooms, it makes them taste really weird if you put raw garlic in and cook them from the start. Oops, I lost some of my sauce. Uh, we don't wanna lose any sauce. All right, so the chicken is starting to get all the way cooked. The veggies are starting to look as done as I prefer them. I am going to pull them out, cut them in half. I do not use a thermometer because I've noticed a lot of times when I cook chicken, legs, breasts, thighs, cut up whole, whatever. Uh, the thermometer may say it's at the right temperature, but when I cut it open, it's still got red or pink juice coming out of it and it's not clear. So I always cut a, at least one piece in half Depending on what I'm cooking, if it's smaller pieces of chicken, I'll cut multiple pieces open from different parts of the pot or pan to make sure they're all the way cooked. All right, watch out, Fluffy. Oh, I want this bowl. And uh, you'll note that I call the dog Fluffy. All dogs are Fluffies because my husband wouldn't, name, wouldn't let me name him Fluffy. All right, let me get a knife. Is this stuff's looking done? How are my carrots, first off? I like my carrots mushy. I don't prefer them not mushy, but obviously when you're doing something like this, they're not being boiled. Oh yeah, they're crunchy. Yeah. I'll eat them anyway. It's what you say when you suck it up and eat it anyway. 
Now what you could do is start your carrots before you start everything else. Oh yeah, that's nice and white on the middle. Let me try one more piece. Um, the amount of liquid that has leached out, I have basically boiled the chicken, which is fine for what I'm doing. Now what I can do is dump everything in the bowl and then put personalized size portions in here and sear it. Um, and uh, what that'll do is give me a sear on the chicken, but it might overcook it. So this is done. And as you can see, it has the uh, chicken will leach out all the liquid. So I'm gonna dump it in here. And once the noodles are done, can you get it? I can't get one. Uh, there. Wait, wait, here, look. <laughs> I know it's hard, it's like fishing. All right, so we tried. Here you go. Hold it like that, blow on it. When it's done, pull it off the fork and then taste it. All right, so I need to set this down because I got to dump this in the bowl. Oopsie, without hurting myself. Oh, actually, I have a better idea. Where's this? We're going to use the spoon with the holes in it so that I can actually, uh, oopsie, keep the stuff. I do have to hold on to the pan, so give me just a second. This did not take as long to cook as I thought it would. Uh, I want the juice to stay in the pan because if the noodles are done, I'm going to put two portions worth in here, toss the noodles in the sauce while it's still boiling, and then, uh, okay, here we go. Turn that off for a second so I don't hurt myself. And then um, I'm gonna add the meat and the veggies and stuff to it and then we'll plate. You can see what it looks like plated. It's, it's basically, fun. okay. Um, do you want to eat on a plate or a bowl? Uh, plate. Okay, so get yourself one of those little pasta plate thingies. The one that looks like between a plate and a bowl. I thought that. Are they both done? Or clean, I mean? Uh, I think so. Is there two of those? Oh, oh, oh yes. Get me one also, please. All right, so let me see if these are done. I think they are. Okay, Oops. we'll try another one. My bad. Which yeah, they're done. Like? All right. So we turn the heat off. I don't care. They're the same. Just set it down. Yep. So I need you to be my cameraman again. Oh, yeah. Here. Point it at the pan. This one. All right. So what I'm going to do is take two portions worth. All right. Depending on how many people are here. That's about one and a half. And you can get water in there because, all right, that's two portions worth. We're going to toss it. Okay. Watch out. We're going to add the chicken and veggies back in. That should be enough for both of us. Yum, yum. Stir it up a tiny bit. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let it cook for about a minute at most because you don't want to sear your noodles. If you sear your noodles, uh, yeah, that means they're burnt or they get really dried out. Uh, the egg noodles are pretty good to keep. I recommend dredging them in just a clean oil so they don't stick. Don't store them in water because they keep sucking water up. And uh, yeah, nobody likes a soggy noodle. They'll get pale and soggy. Anyway, let me get this plated and you can see what it looks like. Is that too much for you? Um, that's good. Are you going to eat all that? Um, or if not? you, if Here, you how take, about, huh? if you take a tiny bit off, then I'll eat it all. Here, let's do this then. Is that enough for you? Perfect. Okay, so. Gracias. De nada. Here is the final product. You can put cheese on the top of it. She can't have cheese, but I can. So I'm going to add a little bit of cheese to mine. And that's pretty much it. I will be making a little bit of leftovers with noodles. And then if there's any other noodles left over after that, if they're going to get put in a little bit of avocado oil and then put away outside of water so they don't get stuffy. All right. So put that away. Hopefully uh, this helps out somebody. The pa I keep getting sidetracked. The pack of chicken was about $4. And it had six chicken thighs in it. Uh, it was what, five mushrooms I think I put in there and it was about $3 for a pound of mushrooms. 
I think I have about 20 pound, 20 mushrooms in there. So you figure about 25 or 30 cents for the mushrooms. The uh, four carrots were probably maybe 25 cents. Uh, and then a bag of noodles is a whole dollar. What else do I have in there? Broccoli, the black broccoli florets, we used about a half a bag and it was three something. So you're looking at probably, I think off the top of my head without doing any math, a dollar to a dollar fifty a person. And this will feed, judging by how much we used, if you do single servings, this will feed about 10 or 15 people. If you guys take seconds, it'll probably feed six to 10, depending on the size portions you have. So hope this helps. Enjoy. At some point, we're going to make ice cream this week, so check back in. All right. Bye.